Hi, my name is Bree. And I'm Nadine. And today we will be introducing trig functions in the real world. There are many places where one can find trigonometry. Trigonometry can be found in mechanical engineering, physics, electrical engineering, astronomy, music, biology, and ecology. Our EQ for the day is how can trig functions be applied in a working environment? So first of all, what is trigonometry? Well, trigonometry is the branch of mathematics dealing with the relations of sides and the angles of triangles and with the relevant functions of any angles. The six simple functions of trig are sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. One of the working environments we decided to focus on was architecture. Trigonometry is critical for curving surfaces and building materials. It is essential to find height and to create essential dimensional objects. Angle measures and distances are vital when creating a building that people will be using. Trigonometry is seen in blueprints to show accuracy of a prototype and will help workers to create precise construction projects that can make sure people using a building will be safe. Trigonometry is used to build arches, domes, support beams, and bridges. Nadine and I interviewed Mr. Wee to get a different perspective on architecture. He stated that using trig, you can figure out the maximum minimum specifications to build to hold the weight. Natural occurrences such as earthquakes should also be taken into consideration when finding out the maximum tolerance of the structure. He also said that all functions are important because missing a small detail can cost lives. One can also find trig functions in the medical field, specifically MRI machines. MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. This machine is a non-invasive medical test that helps physicians diagnose and treat medical conditions. The MRI uses a powerful magnetic field, radio frequency pulses, and a computer to produce detailed images of organs, soft tissue, bone, and virtually all other internal body structures. The MRI maps the distribution of water in the body, which is 70% water. The hydrogen atoms in the water molecule have only one proton, so that when excited by a magnetic force, they create a pulse that can be traced by the MRI to create an image. MRIs use right triangle trigonometries, particularly sine. The machine also uses magnitude and amplitude. Sinusoidal waves. The MRI uses two magnetic currents to draw a sinusoidal wave. Over time, the mag magnitude decreases, causing the wave to dampen. Okay, so for our project reflection, we decided to focus on act the actual making of this video and for us, it was a little bit frustrating because some of the stuff wouldn't save and it was hard to do this voiceover, apparently, because we've been doing this for like a long time and Bree, do you have anything to say? Um, yeah, we were getting uh, really frustrated at first with saving, like Nadine said, but overall it was really fun because we got to work with different animations and figure out more information about trigonometry and how we can use it later on in our lives. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, we finished. Good job. Created using Powtoon.